<laughs> well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends, to uh, another episode of Painting with Master Temple. Now, today we're going to show you how to do a mountain hack. Uh, I don't usually like the word hack, but uh, it's come up, and uh, I'll show you how, how I think this mountain hack may help you if you're having problems with your mountains. Now, let's have a look up here at this uh, this canvas that I've already pre-prepared, and that is the uh, the key to this hack to pre-prepare your canvas. So let's have a look at it. Well, here we go, my fantastic artistic friends. This is a dry canvas. It's a Winsor & Newton canvas panel, uh, triple primed. Okay, now what we usually do in the wet on wet, Bob Ross, uh, Alla Prima technique, uh, is coat the whole dry canvas in a thin layer of liquid medium, be it liquid white, liquid clear, liquid black, whatever we want to do when we want to paint to make the canvas wet. However, I've read in some you know, forums, Facebook groups, whatever, um, that the number one problem that people are having is mountains. And no matter how much time and effort they put into mountains, they never seem to get them right. Now, when they're having problems with mountains, it's going to be a couple of different things. Either they're putting too much liquid white on the canvas, or they're using very thin oil paint, or they're plowing too much pressure with the knife. All three of those elements can cause problems with mountains but another problem which is not often looked at is the amount of paint you're actually putting on the canvas prior to painting the mountain itself so if you think about it liquid white goes on that's one layer of paint and it doesn't matter how thin it is it's still on there okay then you might paint the sky that's another layer of paint then you might paint clouds let's say another layer of paint then you've got to paint the black undertone of the mountain another layer of paint so before you've even got to your highlights and shadows you've got several layers of paint already on the canvas and I want to try and eliminate that and make it a little bit simpler and, and easier for people so what I've done is taken black gesso and I've just painted loosely some mountain shapes up there now you can see I've got three different sizes of mountains I've got a little one middle size one and a big one and they're all irregular triangular shapes okay don't try and make them zigzags or shark's teeth because that will upset the eye. So different sizes and irregular shapes as well work better. And I don't know why, but it always does. Odd numbers in art always work. Whether it be one tree, three trees, five trees, whatever, or mountains, one mountain, three mountains. We've got two mountains up there. It looks a bit, it just, I don't know why, it just upsets the eye. Down here, I've done the same thing. I've put some black gesso down there, just some loose, some loose, um, foliage we will we'll have a bit of foliage down there don't know if we'll have a tree or not yet but we'll, we'll see what time we've got left the main focus is this mountain now the white parts we are going to cover in uh, liquid white and it doesn't matter if we touch the top edge with liquid white down here we definitely want some liquid white because we want to miss the base of this mountain up but we're just going to paint the sky and the lake in liquid white and see where we go from there this black uh, mountain undercoat will stay fairly dry until the moment we put the highlights and shadows on. So next thing, let's get up here and put some liquid white on. Let's put some liquid white on this uh, this canvas. Now you can see it's quite thin, so we'll, we'll dob it in in various places, just like this. I'm just using a tiny little brush, got a little bit more control with this little brush, okay? And we don't want much on there, just enough, just to, to dampen the canvas off. Okay, and it, it can be pretty hard to see on some canvases because you're putting white paint on white paint. Um, but we can work his way down here, get a little bit in there, just like that. And like I've said before, it doesn't matter if you go over the top edge of the uh, of the uh, mountain, just as long as we don't coat the whole black part of the mountain. So really get in there. Okay, and if you turn your head to the side, <laughs> you don't have to do it now while you're watching this. You can probably see the sheen of the, uh, the oil that's actually up there. So that's that's happy days for the top part. Let's put some down here. And again, just coat the whole thing. You can go a bit more crazier down here because this is going to be, or most of this is going to be water all going to plan so little and often rather than the big dollar and try and coat the whole thing out that looks ready to paint on 
Here we are then, my fantastic artistic friends. I've got the colours on the palette. I've got Prussian blue and I've got titanium white. And that's all the colours that we're going to be using for this uh, little painting today. I've also taken the liberty of knocking up a little bit of a pile of Prussian blue and white mixed for the shadow colour of our mountain. Now, we've coated this in liquid white, so it's all slick up there. The black parts, like we've said before, are, are you know, are dry. So fingers crossed, we'll, uh, we'll have a nice painting when it comes to work, when it comes to it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of this Prussian blue, really strong, dark, blacky color blue, okay? So just tap that into a one inch paintbrush and then we'll just start up there. And because we've got liquid white in the sky, I'm gonna move that, I'll put, I'll put my flat cap up there, <laughs> just chuck that when I was tidying around. Uh, don't want it falling off and hurting the painting now. Okay, so I'm just gonna coat this in a very thin layer, thin layer of Prussian blue. Okay, and then work your way down towards the mountain. Ease up on the pressure with the brush, but go over the mountain. Go over the mountain. We're gonna come back up here in a, in a moment and, and blend all this together. Move the paint about, so we'll take the brush strokes out at some point, but just go over the mountain. You won't hurt it. You'll be still able to see the mountain, the blackness underneath. Okay, and then just coat the whole thing. Maybe grab a little bit more paint if you need to, but if you do, just start up in the corner again and then work your way down. Okay. And then just like so. So really get in there. And then we're gonna come back with a big brush. Okay, make sure it's dry. And I'm just gonna blend this all together. So really get tough with this. Really get tough. We're gonna put a couple of little tiny clouds up there, but nothing too strenuous today. It looks like a gloomy, a gloomy mountain scene. Now you paint, you've seen me paint mountains no end of time. No end of time on this channel and on previous channels that I've that I've worked on, so there's nothing new there with painting mountains. But this, this black up here is an is, uh, I think will be a nice little hack. Now again, I don't like the word hack. I think it makes it out like you're cheating or you're incompetent. It's nothing like that at all. This is just a uh, a simplified way. And why why make life hard for yourself? Why make life hard for yourself? Okay, so now we've got this little mountain in the sky. We said we're going to put a little cloud up there. So all I'm going to do is, is let's grab, in fact, we'll grab this little, this little brush here, whatever this one is. And we're just going to, this is a little blender brush, but we're going to tap, tap a little bit of titanium white on there. And you can see where we've got breaks in the sky. Why don't we just use that to our advantage? So just a little bit of a cloudy shape. I don't want to go mad on the clouds today but just enough just to give a little bit of variant in the sky. Okay, just like that. Take that away, grab a clean, dry one. Okay, that's a, it's a different brush. Same brush, but it's different. <laughs> okay, and just turn the base of that cloud and then just fluff up. Now you could do this with any brush you've got. It doesn't have to be one of these, uh, I think the goat hair, I've, I've forgot the name of it now, it's either pony hair, goat hair, or something like that. Okay, and then we've got a nice little cloud up there sitting in the sky. Let's put another one in, just where we've got that going. So again, just, this is the one with the paint on. Okay, so that's why it pays dividends to have a couple of different brushes, you see. Okay, we'll pop that there, and then just maybe come around there. I don't want to touch that top mountain, you see. I just want to, I just want to just, Tickle that out there. I don't want to touch the mountain if I can help it. Of course, if you do, you do. No problem. Oh, nothing we can't fix or sort out. Okay, and then just stir the base of that up. And then fluff up gently. Fluff up. And then just gently go across. Take out all the brush strokes, tap marks, just like so. So that's the sky complete. Okay. Um, down here where we had the liquid white, just make sure that the liquid white is on there. It is, because it's one of those days where it's, <laughs> it's unseasonably hot. 
okay and being canvas panels they can sap you your liquid white in a heartbeat okay so we've got liquid white on there i'm just going to take the same color prussian blue okay on the one inch paintbrush now you've got a two inch use it and then i'm just going to go across all this down there go across your black gesso there like so and you can see the streaks in the paint and it's breaking that's what we're after that's what we're wanting okay and again come from this side and just pull very little liquid white on there you can always come back and add some more if we need to okay and then just like that go across the whole thing and then again with this big brush that we blended the sky with we're going to do the same thing we're just going to go side to side okay side to side and that little light spot right in the middle will remain it will remain our friend and make a nice little watery area just there just like that now that looks quite varied already i'm liking it i'm liking it so dryish canvas okay down here is bone dry up there's bone dry that's what we're after okay now i know true bob ross a la prima wet on wet painting fans might not enjoy this kind of painting but hey we can do whatever we want yeah we can do whatever we want up here okay so there we've got it we've got a nice nice little lake right so with that said set that brush down get rid of that brush get rid of the tub of the liquid white before i kick it all over myself again but you guys never saw that okay so i'm going to take the little palette knife okay now it looks like there's a lot of paint on there what i did is i primed these palette knives with primer so it stop all the glare of the uh, the lights so um but it's obviously wearing away so don't think i've got a dirty knife it isn't Okay, so I'm going to take a little scrape of, so I'll pull it out flat and then I'm just going to scrape in some titanium white. Okay, very little paint. Going to do it again. Scrape in some light, a little roll of paint. It's right on the edge of the knife and that's what we're going to use. Okay, we said we didn't know which one's going to be in the foreground. So, but uh, we'll try this one first and then we're just going to touch on and then just allow that knife to do the work do not put any pressure on this at all Ve like you almost want to drop the knife you're holding it that light so just go on there and then just straight down almost flat almost flat to the canvas it breaks and it breaks easy because the paint is very thin in fact we've got no paint on there at all okay no liquid white no liquid clear Okay, let's go on to this bigger one. Okay, start at the top. Shh. Shh. Allow it to break. Allow it to break. And again on there, just like that. Now, very little pressure. We spoke about this before. If you plough it on too much, okay, you're going to end up... I'll show you. If you put it on there and really put it on, you're going to end up with really big, flat, white areas. And we don't want that. Okay, what we want is for the paint to break. Okay, we'll have to sort that out at some point, but we'll do that. Okay, allow the paint to break. There, come down the mountain. Shh. Think of the, the angles. Now, I don't like that straight edge, but we'll sort that out when we put the shadows on. Okay, let's go on to this little tiny one. Just there. Okay, and then just go like that. And allow that to break as well there look at that you can see the breaks in the paint already it's working it's working it's working okay let's get some of that shadow color so this is just prussian blue and titanium white and we'll just come up here and put some of this shadow color in okay if it's too if it's too let's let's make it a bit paler if it's too dark or it mixes in too well with the, the sky, make it a bit paler. Okay, just like that. There we go. You can see that a little bit better now. And then come down there. 
again just allow the paint to break and, and create all kinds of little nooks crannies all kinds of little little things in there just like this now doing it this way you may be pushing this one backwards so that's all right so let's push this this little one back okay so we're coming there and down in fact i'm going to get the big knife too slow that one so the big knife and then just work in there we don't know where we're going with it holds a lot more paint you see the big knife it's all about what you're used to what you're wanting to work with yeah like so let's let's go on this one from there straight down like so like that okay we don't know what we're gonna have there but we're gonna mist it up anyway so and then let's go across to the other one let's create a nice big mountain reflection there and just down gently come down and we'll work on the this these ridges that i was talking about before in a minute but the, again just allow that to break you can see the black that's in the background breaking and creating all kinds of little places where the old mountain goat would live yeah the old mountain goat or eagle or whatever lives up here yeah like so and just pull that down work it down there okay clean the knife let's get some reflections oh, sorry let's get some more white or some shad uh, highlights come on down put your teeth back in man okay now we can come down here and we can bring this around like so and then we'll go again on this side just just work on that oh, oh, there we go nice mountain it comes down there like so put some white paint down there okay let's go on to this one and then we'll just work this and again we talked about irregular shapes that's exactly what we want on this straight edge here so we don't want one regular line we want it irregular okay and if you get a tiny bit of blue that's all right that's okay irregular triangular shapes and these knives just absolutely do wonders for that it's the shape of the knife you see and you work down let's just neaten that off and then just fill this in whatever paint we've got and then we'll come down there and again this works well with different colors as well if you put a little bit of uh, umber in these uh, these mountains you're going to get like a stony effect which is quite neat which i, I do like i do like uh, maybe that comes there like so and then we'll work on this one maybe the paint does need to be a bit thicker in places down at the base where the snow would would lie more comfortably so we'll put it there like that just fill that in just very gently very gently very gently and there we have it really a big old mountain that you've hardly worked on that you've hardly done okay look at all the breaks in there you could not paint them in a million years if you so wished with a little one head brush it it, it it just wouldn't work for you but there we go like that okay we'll come back with a little knife grab a bit more of that shadow color and we'll maybe put another little shadow in there maybe there's one there like that and that comes down there like so i don't know maybe get the small edge of the small knife just to tweaking a few little blue dots just here and there where there's going to be some deep shadow there like that maybe even grab a bit of prussian blue and search over some of this 
So it looks like real shadows, deep, deep, bluey snow, really deep, cold, cold, cold. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's miss the base of that up. So what we've got here, this'll do. Okay, so we'll just start by tapping, tapping the base of this. Follow the angles of the mountain. Follow the angles, always follow the angles of the mountain. You do not want to cut straight across. Okay, down there, down there. Tap, 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 go up the mountain. And across there, like that. That looks cold, that looks very cold. When in reality, it's about 30 degrees today. Okay, so there we've got it. We've got his mountain sat in mist, sat in fog. That easy, that easy. Okay, let's put some, let's put something down in the, the foreground, in the mid ground. Okay, so let's grab a fan brush. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this, this white colour and Prussian blue. Maybe grab a little bit more Prussian blue, but, but be careful. It's such a strong, strong pigment. Okay, so we'll start off here. Okay, let's go across. Go all the way across. Now I'm pushing slightly down with a brush. Okay, I'm pushing slightly down with a brush. And what that'll do is create little fluffy top edges that look like distant trees. So far away. Okay, just like that. Grab your blender brush. Now it could be the big one, it could be the little one, whatever we've got. I'm just gonna use this two inch brush bit conscious of time and just take the base of that out and again because we put liquid white down here we can blend this you see into almost nothing and that's what we want okay just there like so let's grab this brush and take a bit more of that darker color okay so we've got a little bit of white on there and Prussian blue and we'll come across here like that maybe up I'll maybe feather that out there we don't know where it goes just there like that and then because these are a little bit closer to us we can lift up slightly now you, you're going to have good eyesight to see these so you probably won't be able to see it on on telly especially if you're watching on a little tiny phone but um, they're there and when you get up close and personal to these paintings you'll see them just lift up slightly and that's another little foothill deep deep in a mountain range okay let's tap this in fact we said we're gonna have some we're gonna have some water didn't we we're gonna start paint thinking about painting some water okay so let's wipe that brush wipe it off and then just go straight into prussian blue okay pure prussian blue start here that looks almost now it looks almost black, but it's blue. Come up there. You need this foggy area in between though, folks. There, like so. And what we'll do on this one is we'll pull straight down. Okay, just pull it straight down into that liquid white. Straight down where it's thinner, pull thinner. Where it's fatter, pull bigger. That makes sense. Probably not. Okay. And then again, we'll pull with this, grab, grab and pull, grab and pull, grab and pull, and then gently go across there. We've got our instant reflections. I'm just going to lift straight up with some of this again. And we'll come back in with some liquid white. Put a tree on that one, eh? That one looks like it needed a tree just there, a bit of a bigger, stronger tree. Okay. Get some liquid white on the palette knife and let's cut in our nice little water lines. Separate, separate the land from the water. Okay, so start with the heel of the knife on the on the palette and then just work your way around. And if it's coming towards you or going away from you, guide it with the front of your knife. Just about there, didn't we? About there. Okay, just like that that oh, get some paint on the on it down there like so so there we've got a little water line in fact take off most of the paint and then we could even scrape in a tiny little bit of one back there just cut through the paint 
like that. So we've got a couple of water lines just making an appearance back there. So that makes that look like a little island now. All right, let's work on this foreground. Okay, so I'm gonna take, uh, what are we gonna take? Why not? Why not? Let's clean this, uh, let's clean this little brush off. We haven't cleaned the brush today yet. Okay, so hold this thinner, scrape it off, give it a good rattle. This is just a little tiny brush we painted the, uh, the liquid white in. Okay, so we're gonna paint this foliage. So let's go, let's go straight into white. I'm gonna take some I'm going to take some liquid white as well, just to thin it down a tiny touch, just to, because titanium white is a very thick paint. Load the paintbrush full, okay, and then we're going to come up here and then just, just touch on and just put in all kinds of little foliagey kind of things, working little clumps, working little clumps, and you can make delicate, lacy looking, like Jack Frost has, 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 has really bit these. I work on individual ones. Get stronger there. Like so. Yeah, like that. However we want to put them in. A bit of snow down there as well. Just there like that. And then come up. Work around. Okay, we can even change the flavour in a moment. Oh, 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 push, 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 push. Yeah, like so. Maybe grab a little bit of that blue. So you'll have a, a shadowy colour in some of these. Now, if you can't see that, it looks a bit too, too much like the background. We can come back in with some more white and highlight that even more. Yours like that there look look yeah, but we've got a different got a different coloured bush just there and a bit more there like that and it's so easy to do this because it's virtually dry it's virtually dry there we go more there and there change the flavour focus your eye onto the middle and that's about it that's all we really need to do now you can put trees in you can put log cabins in you can do whatever you want to do with this but uh, it, it's limitless okay but the most important thing is the mountain let me know how you got on with the mountain and until next time you take care of yourself stay safe happy days <laughs>